Yo, what is going on ladies and gents? It's your boy Lampsy back again with another Lampsy Legends and today we're going over another talent who Chelsea have just decided to throw away in the summer. It is Bertrand Troway's first in form for Olympic Lyonnais. Now it's an actual beast of a card to have except the one star weak foot but just I'll, I'll go into that a bit later but as you can see up on the screen 32 games played 18 goals and 3 assists. Not the best, to be honest, on my standards, because a lot of times that I like to have them at a 100% ratio, either goals and assists together or just one or the other. But overall, guys, it's not the best and it's not the worst. But overall, he makes a real good impact on the team, uh, nonetheless. But this is where the stats are really, really beautiful. But as you can see, his base stats, obviously, the 90 pace, 79 shot, 80 passing, 86 dribbling, and 72 physical, with the standout stats obviously being his pace of 86 exactly acceleration and 92 sprint speed uh, with 85 attacking position, 85 volleys, 82 vision, 85 curve, 78 long pass, 88 agility, 81 reactions, 88 ball control, 87 dribbling and 84 jumping, 82 stamina and 72 strength. But overall guys, he's an absolute tank of a player to have in your team. He only goes for like 17k. Um, it's like, what, what, how could you go wrong with that? I, I think the only reason why he's going for that amount of money is because that one star weak foot. But as you could tell up on the screen is the team that I've been playing him around. So obviously we've got Balotelli up front, which is never a bad problem. He's always a beast. Like he's just an overall tank of a player no matter what. I can't wait to get my hands onto an inform if Balotelli tries to, you know, pull his finger out this year. But we've got Payet on the left hand side. Obviously it's not an upgraded version. It is just his once to watch card, which he probably won't even play in the World Cup this year anyway. France has just got too much depth. But overall, guys, Sadibe plays really, really well behind Bertrand Traore. I don't know what it is. I always play my right backs as an overlapping player. I don't even put that on the player instructions, but for some reason, Sadibe likes to play in and play and likes to gain the ball back from Bertrand Traore no matter what the sort of position they're in. But overall, guys, the team really gels well together. It feels really, really quick and agile. It's because obviously a lot of players aren't that big and they're quite small on the field. So on a strength-wise sort of team, Bertrand Traore and Balotelli are the two strongest players really that are on the pitch that are uh, not in that back half of the field but the one star weak foot guys I know it's a bit of a shame that Bertrand has a one star weak foot it's basically like Sunday league quality but nonetheless guys if you if you're just one of those players that likes to get in to the positions inside the box and you don't really like to have bangers or anything then you've got no problems but the thing is you've just got to make sure that you use Bertrand Traore on the side that you like to use the most so if you like to have driven shots make sure you have him up on the left hand side because obviously he's a left footer and you want him to have driven shots because if you change it up and you want to use his right foot by some chance nothing's going to go in unless you've got a one-on-one -on -one with the keeper and the keeper's a bronze rated keeper but if you like his finesse like it is actually really really good then make sure you play him at the right no matter what you do just got to make sure you avoid using that right foot at all costs he's not going to score any bangers he's not going to score basically any goals with his right foot i believe i scored one goal with his right foot and that was it but to be honest guys the amount of times i've given the ball to traore in a position where it's going to land on his right foot nine times out of ten he's going to miss it but overall guys they just forget Let's just pretend that he doesn't have that one star weak foot. He's an absolute gem. His dribbling is so smooth. You can't go wrong. His shot is so powerful. His driven shot always ends up in the corner of the net. His finesse shot is beautiful as well. His shooting and dribbling just makes up for it, guys, no matter what. His jumping is obviously really good as well, so he wins quite a few headers from the goal kicks. And overall, he's just an absolute tank player to have in your team. I can't really follow up too much other than he plays for Burkino Faso and his one star. Uh, uh, weak foot. He's got four star skills as well so all of you guys that like to use skill moves as well, it's really a positive as well there. But anyways guys, I hope you have enjoyed today's Lampsy Legends. I do apologise that this one has gone a little bit shorter than usual. I've got a few other little videos in mind for the next couple of weeks so I'm going to try and get on top of those while I can and obviously a few other Lampsy Legends. But anyway guys, I hope you have enjoyed and I shall see you guys on the next video. Peace out.